organic chemistry versus the pharmacognosy, for example, or plants. Uh, okay, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, recover a specific molecule and uh, another person will come and uh, say to me, no, I'll synthesize it. Okay, I'll make the, th the synthesis of these molecules instead of uh, damaging the nature. I'll right, uh, damage the environment and the nature. So why all of these processes instead to take it from uh, right, synthesizes? I'll put it into organic chemistry laboratory and uh, with also a cheap uh, price but from uh, the nature we will uh, we need uh, right, uh, an expensive amount of money to uh, order these plants in fact you have to put into, into your mind that uh, even inside the organic mystery laboratory we need to make purification Okay, to uh, purify this molecule, purification is not easy. So even uh, when we talk about um, um, natural products, there are a lot of extraction and fractionation, isolation, purification. Also, in the organic mystery laboratory, we need to make pur purification, and the pur to purify is the very hard process and. Uh, it costs so much. It is the same. There are some plants uh, that we can take them from the, the nature and we will uh, obtain uh, right, uh, a good yield instead of to make a synthesis inside the laboratory. It's not um, absolute rule. There is no absolute rule to say that um, taking uh, molecules from uh, nature will uh, disturb the, the environment and uh, making a synthesis will, we will get to them with uh, cheap cost. No, it's not necessary. Uh, if we talk about the, the cannabis, yes. So if you would like to synthesize the active constituents inside laboratory, uh, it will not be economical then to take the real plant and uh, make making some uh, extraction and isolation. So the process here will be more economical than in the other hand. Yes.